In the shop today we have a World War II reproduction tank. Uh, it's coming in for an overheating problem. Let's see what it needs. This is just too interesting not to video. Not really going to do a diagnosis video on this, but there's the steering wheel inside. It has a rotating gun turret on top. I believe it's a CO2 cartridge type gun because there's some CO2 tanks and hoses inside there. Back here we have put a radiator in it. The uh, original radiator was pretty contaminated and it wasn't correct for application. Uh, we have that radiator in there just sitting in there now but it's still overheating. They've overheated it bad enough to where it pressurizes the system instantly. So that's a head gasket problem. It pressurizes the system and starts bursting out the uh, uh, pressure release there in the cap. So we're gonna have to pull the head on it. It's um, the owner was told that it was an AAZ motor, and it certainly looks like an AAZ motor, but it's, based on the timing cover, it says ADG. Okay, the engine, uh, based on the timing cover, is ADG. It's got some German writing on this tag here, so I assume this is a German import uh, motor. But let's go inside and see what it looks like. Take my lightsaber with me. It's pretty tight in here, hard to get in. We have a machete. Propane tank for some reason. And there's the gun turret up there. You sit right here. And I'm pretty sure it does rotate. Yeah, it does. Oh, this crank right here rotates. <laughs> And then uh, you drive it from up there. Doesn't look like a real comfortable drive. It's pretty cool. My son was up here yesterday and he loved getting in it. He's 13 and he was pretty excited to get in it. But there's our tank. The guy who owns this actually owns two of them. The, uh, he also owns a KDF wagon reproduction and a Kubel wagon reproduction. Okay, I'm working on our World War II reproduction tank and this has a IDI diesel in it. Uh, the customer told me it was a AAZ engine, but I really don't think it is. It's a similar engine to an AAZ because uh, it had a different letter code on the timing cover. Probably a German import. But it's similar enough to an AAZ to where most of the parts interchange. Um, we did timing parts and things like that, and it all seemed to be the same as an AAZ. Head gasket, very similar to an AAZ. But I thought it'd be an excellent opportunity to show how to set timing on an IDI diesel. Step one, set it to top dead center. Step two, turn the crankshaft backwards till the gauge stops moving. Okay, it stopped. Set your gauge to zero. Turn the crankshaft forward till top dead center. I'm trying to watch both top dead center and the gauge. Nice and slow. Stop. And our gauge has moved off zero about five thousandths. What we want is the gauge to be at about 33 thousandths on a non-turbo car or 39 thousandths on a turbo car. This is a non-turbo. So to get the adjustment quickly, usually, we loosen the la the, this bolt. The rest of the bolts are already loose. And at that point we can turn the injection pump. You want to show the gauge what you do. See that we can turn the injection pump. And then we turn it until it's at 33. Now we're at where we have the crankshaft at top dead center. Can you do that for me? A little more. 
and that's pretty darn close there. And Mariah will hold that while I tighten this bolt. Try not to put my arm in the middle of the camera. Still at 33, and we double check that it's right. We turn the crankshaft backwards till it stops moving. And then we zero the gauge again, just only off a little bit, and then we turn the, let me get this back to uh, where I can see both the gauge and the top dead center mark. Okay, then we turn it back to top dead center. Whoa. And our gates, we're at top dead center. And our gauge is showing about 35, but I think he's turned it just a hair too far. So go ahead and back off just a hair. forward just a little whoa and we're at 33 that's how to set the timing on an IDI don't forget to tighten the rest of the bolts on the pump and should run nice and good and have good starting characteristics there sticks there I talked to the customer quite a bit about this uh, tank and one of the coolest things I find about it is these guns. They're not guns, no projectiles come out of them. They are exhaust pipes, basically. The way it works is there's a propane tank in here and an oxygen tank. I don't know where the oxygen tank is, but it's up, yeah, it's up there in the turret. And they mix oxygen and propane in that pipe at the same time and then a little spark plug fires them. See the spark plug? Maybe you can't. There it is. And the spark plug fires the oxygen and propane mixture and so it goes boom! And uh, the little one does rapid fire. Boom, 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 boom. So that's how the gun system works. No projectile comes out of it.